What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Five Wars Deke. It is week five, and we are back at home. I thought we were going to be playing the Chargers, but I told y'all, don't take my word for it. We got the one and three Cincinnati Bengals, a really young team. We are three and one after beating the crap out of another cat team, the Carolina Panthers. Let's get a dub today, baby. Two black head coaches facing off, Marvin Lewis and Herm Edwards. Bengals won the toss and elected to kick, so we have it first on offense. And what a day for them against the Panthers last week, man. Crushed them, boys. Here's a screen. Dwayne Bowe, that's a good gain on first down to the 30. Randolph tossed three touchdowns, protected the football. Darrell Irvin went well over 100 yards. Shut ran for two scores, and Shut's near a first down. Offense was moving and grooving last week. Missed a couple of PATs, though. This is third down, and it's Darrell Irvin across midfield. Already showing that prowess. Already showing it. I love the way we moved this ball, especially the last couple of weeks, man. That New Orleans game woke us up. He's going deep. He's got his man inside the 10. First and goal. Come on, baby. Why would you kick to the Chiefs? Why would you give them the ball first, man? Why you give us the ball first? Toss to shut at the five and shut is in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. PAT was missed, so the score is six nothing. This is a Bengals offense that is still rebuilding after losing Carson Palmer to free agency, or I guess just letting him walk. Here's a toss to Gable, and he is in his second season in the NFL. Running back's been in the league for a year. This is his second season, as I just mentioned. The quarterback, Dave Williams, is in his third season. And a young receiving core as well. Young team here, really young team. Everybody's on a rookie deal. Williams throws to the outside. It is incomplete. Here comes third down. Williams. Intercepted Pearson. Pearson taking it to the 20. So the offense couldn't really get the ball moving, so they will settle for a field goal. McGuire's already missed a PAT. And this kick is good. First and 10 for Cincinnati. Here comes Solomon on the blitz. Quick throw by Williams is intercepted. Second interception, that's from Lennox Suggs. Two pass plays, two interceptions. Don't let this defense get on a roll, too, because the offense already good. Don't let this defense get on a roll now. Come on, squad. Come on, squad. Randolph to the end zone and complete. Third and 13 from the 33. It'd be a 51-yard field goal from here. It'd be a 51-yard field goal. First and 10 for Cincinnati. Here's a give to Gable. And Gable's got a first down run, I believe. Just shy. And that's a direct snap to Gable. First down, Bengals. Good play. Williams looking, throwing. It is intercepted, Pearson again. Are you kidding me? What? What, do they think it hit the ground? There's no way. There's no way that ball hit the ground. That's not even close to the ground like that. Oh, please. That's a catch. That's a catch. Offense has it right at the 20-yard line. In the red zone. Already up 9-0 here in the first quarter. Shut. Getting a couple of yards. Third and seven from the 18. Have to get this to the 10 yard line. Randolph will give it and that's not even gonna come close. That's not even close. So here comes Melvin McGuire. One for one on field goals, 0 for one on PATs. This is a 33 yard kick and it is well no good. Don't start that again offense. When y'all get in the red zone, y'all need to be scoring touchdowns, straight up. Defense is doing their job. Do yours. This is third down. Williams throwing. It is caught by Jackson. Jermaine Jackson on third down. 
That is the first third down conversion given up by Kansas City in more than two weeks. We went two games without giving up a third down conversion and just gave one up. Start of the second quarter, play action. Williams looking, has his man Solomon with that yay yurt. Give us to Gable. Uh oh, Gable out of a tackle. Gable with a good gain. Number 20, the ball carrier. Play action, and Williams is sacked. There you go, defense. Williams on third down. He is sacked again, and they might be out of field goal range. That is a coverage sack right there. Come on, Randolph. Come on, dog. There you go. Oh, play action. Has his man touchdown. Kansas City's doing it again. We tacked on a field goal after that touchdown. It's 19 to nothing at the break. Start of the second half, Cincinnati has it first. Down by 19 points and Gable with a short gain on first down. Williams looking, throwing to the outside. It is batted around incomplete. Williams, the give to Gable on third down, and he is shy. There you go. There you go. Beautiful coffin corner punt. Took it to the nine. Beautiful punt. Ball at the nine-yard line for Cincinnati. Same score. Give to Gable. Nowhere to run. Williams looking. Williams throws. Middle of the field and is intercepted by Solomon, the Don Daniels. His fifth of the season. Early stages of the fourth quarter. This is the third down after the Solomon Daniels interception. Ball at the 25-yard line. Offense needs 11 yards. Come on now. Giving that thing to shut and shut. Almost got all. Oh, he did. He got all of it. We ran it on third and 11, and he got 12. Needed 11 and shut got 12. Give it to him again. Shut the ball carry. Offense drove it to the eight after the Solomon Daniels interception, but we'll settle for three here. Oh, no! How do you miss 26-yard field goals, bro? As a professional kicker, you're missing PATs and 26-yard field goals. It's ridiculous. We should have way more than 19 points. Number 20 on the carry. Here comes Solomon on the blitz. It is incomplete. There you go. There you go. Final chance for the Bengals. 119 to play. Williams. Intercepted by Pearson. That is three. Give him a hat trick of interceptions. It's another win for Kansas City. 19 to nothing is our final. Nobody scored in the second half, man. Nobody scored, and I'm disappointed in our offense. Happy with the win, but we got a lot more to do. So here's the deal. Um, defensively, we had six sacks, and we forced five turnovers. Five. And the offense only gave us 19 points. That was it. 19. Not a single interception led to a Chiefs touchdown. The most they led to was a field goal. And most of those drives ended in missed field goals. So I am disappointed in the offense. I know Coach is disappointed in the offense as well. That's not up to par. When you know you're good and you have a standard of excellence, you have to demand more. Even if you win 19 to nothing. Even if you win 19 to nothing. As for Solomon Daniels, he had the Yayert and the interception. Five interceptions on the season. Came into the game leading the NFL with four. After Pearson's three, I don't know if Pearson is up there now. I don't know how many Pearson has on the season, but I know Solomon's got five. And I mean, he's on pace for 16. 
Solomon is on pace for 16 interceptions, and that should be enough to lead the league. It's definitely going to be enough to get him back to the Pro Bowl, but it should be enough to, to lead the league. We'll see if, if this defense, well, really this offense, if this offense can take advantage of what the defense gives them. Um, but I will say last week was probably one of those games where the defense is clicking as well as the offense. And usually, um, I think it's been one or the other. So the Saints game, the defense was clicking to a degree because we didn't allow a third down conversion. Offense couldn't move the ball and we ended up losing. But defense was struggling against the Raiders. That was the day the offense had to step up and take care of business. Today, the offense struggled and the defense stepped up, took care of business. It's a shutout. Pitch the shutout. I can't get mad at that, but I can challenge the offense to do more. So yeah, we've got four straight road games coming up. At the Steelers, at the Titans, at the Broncos, Solomon's first trip back to Denver, and at San Diego. We have four consecutive road games coming up and that's not going to be easy because playing on the road is hard and playing divisional games is hard. And we've got two of those coming up, but the Steelers, they're not the same Steelers. Let's get that straight. This ain't, it ain't no Big Ben or none of that. So ain't nothing to be scared of there. I think Vince Young might still be the Titans quarterback, may or may not be, I don't know, but that ain't gonna be easy either. So I will see y'all in Pittsburgh, week number six, until then, it is your boy Five Boys Deke. One love.